What is up guys, welcome back to another video, brand new Etnies rag collection, backpack, shirt, shoes. This is not a sponsored video by Etnies. I bought these with my own money as well as basically anything you see on this channel and when it is a product that is given to me, I let you know. So this is gonna be a review slash unpopular opinion on what I think the best shoes in BMX are and you never know, they might be the other shoes I'm gonna show you here on the video. I have Vans here and we're gonna talk a little bit more about Vans and my opinion on Vans versus Etnies. So let's get into Let's get into the backpack first. This is part of the giveaway. I'm giving away a backpack and a pair of shoes. At the end of this video, I'll tell you guys how you can win. All right, so this is Etnie's backpack. It has uh, little straps here for a uh, skateboard. Cool, pretty straightforward. Laptop holders, it's worth like 80 bucks. So when I purchased the shoes, uh, since it was eligible for a free backpack, I picked up this guy. This is the most expensive backpack that they have. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat. It's got a bunch of little straps everywhere. Looks like it's pretty comfortable. Probably really good for the back to school people. Now the first part of this rad collection is probably my favorite, right? This is the new rad jersey. I mean, look at this thing. The sleeves say rad all the way down it and it probably would look really, really cool on. And like I said, it looks really, really cool on. And the new color is absolutely insane. I love that purple and teal on there. And then, I mean, look at the sleeves all the way down this bad boy. It, this is a good feel. This is, it says it's 100% cotton, but it feels like it's a synthetic of some sort. Um, it's not an actual jersey, but they label it as a jersey. So let's get into the shoes, and we'll talk about the differences between the new shoes versus the old shoes. Before we go any further, I want to talk about today's video sponsor. This video would not be possible if it was not for Phantom Wallet sponsoring today's video, hence the name. Fans open all your cards. Really durable design. This one's the aluminum one. They also offer it in plastic. All the accessories screw on, as you see there. All these little screw holes. Right now I'm running silicone band. I usually run the money clip because it gives you a lot of color accessories. They also offer a clear plastic front for holding IDs as well as fanning out your keys. I'll display them here on the screen. If you're interested in any of these products, especially their newest one, it's gonna be coming out really soon with MagSafe technology, be able to connect it to your iPhone. Click the link in the description below. Use Feedy10 at checkout. And big shout out to Phantom Wall for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. All right, so the unboxing experience is gonna be pretty familiar to the last ones. It's just gonna be opening the box, pulling the paper down. And bam, you got the new black ones. And it is the same materials as the original one. So we're gonna pull out one. I already laced it up just to kind of see what it'll feel like, but the colorway is identical to the shirt that I'm running right now. And this is this is dope. So Etnies is part of an organization that plants trees for every set of shoes that you buy. Um, they planted over two million trees since, and that's what this tag on here is all about. Now, one of my favorite features about this is the fact that it's black and gray. So the previous edition, which I have here, were all white, and I don't mind white shoes. I mean, especially since the rad ones were, you know, had the perfect hell track like type of feel to them. But I love black and gray. Black and gray is like the best feel. And as far as like looking dirty, they don't really show dirt. All right, so we're gonna go over the new shoe and then I'm gonna show you the differences between the new and the old. So the new shoe, like I said, is more of a black and gray type of a feel. A micro suede around the toe cap right there. And then you have a reinforced rubber edge right here, maybe for the skateboarders. And we'll talk about more about that rubber edge and my favorite part about this shoe momentarily. But this denim right here, I think makes for probably a better feel than most denim shoes. Some of them just feel a little too floppy. In my experience, these shoes have stayed somewhat stiff, maybe like medium stiff, compared to Vans are just like super floppy after the first session. So, like I was saying about that rubber edge, that rubber edge goes right into this edge that you see here, which is my favorite part which is the inner edge right there for tail whips or any type of crank arm bite. Now, let me show you the previous edition and the overall wear, and I'm gonna show you a pair of Vans that I have, and they literally I've ridden them the same amount of time of each other. All right, so these are the original Helltrack Rad editions, and these things are, are pretty worn. I mean, this is maybe five months of riding, I think. Five months of riding. I mean, there's only a little bit of wear there. Um, as you see, the pedal grip isn't torn up and I run plastic pedals with metal pins. The inner part, see how that held on there? That stitching makes a big difference there for tail whips right there. And then this whole piece right here, I mean, this is literally the first pair of shoes I've ever had that has not peeled, peeled away. Usually these sections right here will peel right away from the shoe, especially from any tail whips and an impact right here. And I haven't had any damage here as well. Let me show you a comparison of a pair of Vans that I rode for, probably like six months, since these are four months old, I'm pretty sure I wear these for six months. And uh, just so you guys know, this isn't any knock against Vans, it's just my personal opinion. So if you love Vans and that's just the shoe for you, then that's the way to go. But my personal opinion so far is uh, that Vans aren't the shoe to get. Uh, I did ride Etnies when I was really young and then they 
change the materials to, I would say, these better materials. So I wrote like the Taj, the rooftop, the Ruben Alcantara, and a number of other shoes that Etnies offers back then. And then I went from there to like Vision shoe wear. I think it was Vision shoes. It was like I was riding for a skate shop, so I ran a ton of different shoes at the time. So let me show you the vans that I have here. These vans are gonna have two different wares on them, all right? So these are the the white, I think it's just white, the white Scotty Kramer ones. I bought these when they first came out, rode them for a while. Now, as you see there, the bottom shows a lot more wear and tear and these are supposed to be BMX specific, right? And they're just a lot softer. Like you can see my finger press into that a lot easier than like, let's see if we can get that in there. This is just a little bit stiffer of a rubber, but it's just as like gummy, I would say, in my opinion. Now, one of the things I don't like about these ones, like I was saying here, I mean like, all these Vans logos were tearing up from tail whips. This right here I had to like re-glue and you can kind of see where I used like a heat gun to kind of keep that on there. Um, chewed up the edge here. I, I just I just think that the materials are definitely different. And then oh yeah, I had like a an edge pop here around where the Dura cap is supposed to be pretty good. But I do want to say that the cup is better than like the other high tops that I have ridden. So like other cups, if you bent the shoe like this and you pushed it, you would have this whole edge kind of pop from the seam. When they were running regular vulcanized like this, it would pop from the seam. Now, it doesn't do that because this is BMX specific, but like I said there, you can see the, the chewing up that you see there on the bottom. This, these I rode for about five or six months and I ride pretty much every day. And uh, this is the wear on one of the shoes. So each of the shoes are gonna wear differently depending on your riding style. Some people run their foot flat on the platform like this. Some people run pigeon toes. Some people run outward. It just depends on how you ride and that's how the shoe is gonna wear. And you'll see what I'm talking about here where this inner part with the rubber that's supposed to protect the shoe from tail whips started to peel. All right, so this is the other shoe. It looks a little bit better on that outside. And then I flip it around and you start to see that peeling that I was talking about. Right here. Now, like I said, Vans wear differently for different riders. I mean, I got a lot more wear on this one. This is my left foot. So my left foot is back and my other one is forward. That might play a factor, more wear on the back foot, shifting the back foot kind of for tail ups and stuff. But I mean, this, this little bit of wear and tear, and I did switch out the soles. That's something I do on all my shoes. I switch out the soles for footprint insoles. But overall, not to say Vans are terrible, but I wouldn't, basically it's like this. These Etnies, I think the white ones when I first got them were like 75 bucks, and then these were 85 bucks, so I wanted to get the Etnies because they're a better deal. Now the new ones of these, I think, the all black ones are $90, which is pretty expensive for a riding shoe. I know a lot of people uh, out there probably can't afford to spend $90 for a set of shoes. So maybe going a different route, such as like Adidas or ES, which is like a skateboard brand. But I think Etnies might be the best option, like I was saying, because they have taken more of a focus to the bike realm. They have bike specific shoes, specifically these ones. Now I haven't had a chance to try out the new Etnies Michelin. The Etnies Michelin are a whole different bottom. It's like a Michelin rubber for the you know, Michelin tires you have on cars. I do want to try those out because I ride mountain bikes and I want to try out their mountain bike shoes pretty bad. I think I'm gonna have to get a set. Uh, they are kind of expensive. They're about $20 more than those uh, Vans I just showed you there. So I think they're like 110 or 120 bucks, but they're supposed to be like really stiff. Stiff, you want something like that for mountain biking, and the bottoms are just as gummy for the grip. That's what I like about the Etni so far, is like this edge here that gets the most wear on the inner and the outer edge is stiffer than the Vans. So it gives you that rigidity that you need on the pedal, but also gives you that soft grip. And that plays a big factor too with riding. Now looking at the differences of the two Etnies Rad, first edition and second edition, you see the gum bottoms on these. You see the 7-Eleven style logo and it says Helltrack on the bottom. Now, what I loved about these shoes are the materials that they use around the top, around your ankle, because that right there usually tears on any other shoe. So that leather that you see there where it says Rad held up really, really well on these shoes. Now moving around to the top view, you see the same similar materials that you see there. So you have the same white rubber there, it turns gray here, you have black bottoms versus the gum, you have the gray versus the white, and as you rotate around, you see that the material has changed around the upper area where it says Rad. And that's where I think it's gonna be a problem on this shoe because it feels like, it feels like a synthetic of some sort. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I'm gonna let you guys know if these hold up, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't, that's more of a leather and that's more of a synthetic if you can kind of see the differences there. 
And that inner piece you see there that's worn, that's because the Velcro on my pads just chew that up. So yeah, so far so good. So these will still continue to be my everyday riding shoe until I break these guys in. And still my opinion guys, you guys can take it with a grain of salt. I've ridden in enough shoes throughout the industry over the, over the close to 20 years I've been riding that I think I have enough say when it comes to what I think personally is the best riding shoe today in 2021. And I think that's Etnies shoes. They have the best materials. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video by Etnies. The best materials on the shoes. And I can say that because I paid for Vans. And I mean, look at this. To this day, I still wear these Vans walking shoes I bought. I mean, they're pretty beat up. They're like my grass cutting shoes now. So I'm, a, I'm like a shoe guy, all right? I absolutely love shoes. And this is probably one of my favorite features that Vans has. They have more of like a, a walking slash like casual line. And I think Etnies does too, which I think I'm gonna plan on buying a couple sets because they have shoes that are kind of comparable to this. So don't sell yourself short and don't get stuck on the Vans bandwagon. I know, I know it's like traditional in BMX to ride Vans because they had been with BMX for so long and Etnies has kind of been like in it and then out of it and now they're back in it. But I think you have to really give a company credit where it's due because they've invested so much time, effort, and resources into BMX to make a BMX specific shoe. And they really care a lot about BMX, even to the point of this. Let me show you the inside of these shoes. Now the attention to detail always gets me. I know a lot of you guys that love rad like I do will definitely appreciate this. And some of you guys might not really care, but let me know if you know what the scene is from. Look at that. <laughs> these guys, they're gonna do the bicycle boogie. All right, so with that being said, I mean, these things are absolute fire and I am super stoked to have bought a set. Well, not just one, two. So I'm gonna give away a set to you guys. And I only have size 11. I'm pretty sure that the website states that they're basically all out of these shoes in general. So you might be able to pick them up at other like skate shops that are selling these shoes or uh, mail orders. But if you guys are looking for a size 11, you wanna win a set as well as a backpack. And I'm gonna be giving away the backpack and the shoes to one lucky winner. I'm gonna be announcing the winner in the next video doing the full review of these shoes. Basically telling you guys my gripes with these, which are probably not gonna be many because I absolutely love the first edition. So be on the lookout for the next video featuring these shoes in the thumbnail and I'll be announcing the winner. How do you guys win? You just gotta drop a comment below, subscribe on the channel. Your comment can be anything, but I'd much prefer why you guys ride the shoes that you ride, whether they be Etnies, DC, Adidas, Vans, no matter what it is, I just wanna hear your guys' point of view and I like to engage with you guys. So with that being said, if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment below. I'm gonna be really busy this week setting up the house. I've got a lot of really cool stuff in the works, such as like an airbag and a kicker here at the house. I've got a partnership with Eufy Security, so I have like new security stuff here. It's gonna be going on my home. I'm bringing you guys along for the ride. Setting up the garage here to, to make it more of like a workstation. And I got other bikes and scooters and electric bikes, all this stuff showing up. We have a very, very busy couple of weeks. So with that being said, subscribe to the channel. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.